Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with me, Get Daved. Time to do some preparations. And I'm gonna make you watch because this is a big deal. Okay, first things first, we gotta get Squall his uh, junctions back. We had some extras running on Zell. Well, actually they were more Zells. Brothers. Uh, Diabolos was another one. And I believe Pandemina. There we go. Does that cover all the core stats? Yeah, it does. Okay. And we're just going to switch them back now. We aren't going to get any experience points from the upcoming fight. Yeah, Squall's the wuss of the group now. The chicken wuss, if you will. I'm also gonna... <laughs> let's try something here. We're gonna disperse his Ultima across the group. 97. So that's about 32 a pop. And Questus, you can have a bunch as well. Let's see. Let's see if we can stock some. We're going into the battle full HP on everyone. And there's probably something better he can have on his magic stat now. Yeah, like death. That's a pretty good spell. Yeah, or pain. I don't think we are going to get hit with many status attacks. You can see pain, it automatically inflicts four, so... That's nice. Okay. We don't care about the growth abilities anymore. Uh, Recover and Revive, on the other hand, are pretty useful. Uh, which GS does he have? Ifrit, Siren, Carbuncle, Leviathan. We're probably not going to use Carbuncle. Okay. So, drop that in favor of revive, I think. So that's full life. Free, uninhibited, full life. Okay, his strength's almost 255. I'm fine with that. And I want his defenses nice and high. Yeah, we can get a little bit more if we put Meltdown on there, so... That will have to do. Elemental defenses. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I'll, I'll junction Ultima. <laughs> I'm not above that. All right, Zell. First things first, we gotta get his speed going. There's no haste? Perhaps I am not good at looking at things. Okay, that's fine. That'll do for him. The spell is pretty good for spirit. We'll start with that. Uh, we have meltdown. Oh yeah, regen also a really good option. Okay, and full life. I honestly don't care too much about hit. We're not going to be using regular attacks all that much. Sure, great. Get some elemental defense. I don't expect to get hit with a lot. Alright, and... Abilities. We're going to want to summon... Uh, probably Cerberus. Because that's going to give us the ability to use triple, which is going to be really important. Uh, none of those GFs are super critical, though. Uh, defend, I think, protects you against really important stuff. I'm going to think about that one. Give him the ability to buckle up, I think. Um, maybe mug? It would be kind of nice. Got some dogs freaking out next door. 
Well, I'm nice and calm, so no worries. Uh, I don't see any of these other abilities. Maybe I'll... In a pinch, I might try using Defend. There's some pretty bonkers attacks. Alright. And Quistus. She's pretty good to go. She has Cerberus. Wow, okay. She can have a wicked crit rate. Luck 87. And... Junction her Evade? I would think, like, Tornado would be pretty good for that. Or Ultima. Can I always count on Ultima. So what we're gonna do... Come on, Evade. Wow, Blizzog is better than Quake. That's pretty weird. Alright. I thought you could junction or reflect to, uh, oh, there we go, to status defense. Might as well take the 1% boost when we can get it. All right, it'll do. She's decked out. Next up, everybody's full life. That is an order. Can't use Degenerator where we're going. So, uh, you know, that's pretty fun. I think that's as prepared as we can get. Okay. Here we go. I'm just gonna collect my salary. And yes, you would have to go back past all of that, all those encounters. If you found out you didn't have enough steam. Yeah, there must be something here. I'm sure it's on the up and up. So. Yeah. We're going to see what happened at this facility. And then we're going to have a huge risk versus reward problem. Oh, that winch is going crazy. <laughs> He's out of control. Uh, when the fight starts, I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk lots. So I don't want to make any mistakes. So, you know, just so you know, the rocks are resonating. They sound like the bridge of the Enterprise. All right. Buckle up, everyone. I might not talk much. We're gonna get triple up so we have the ability to... Ugh. Draw the GF. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I guess stalk some Ultima for now. I wonder if we'll have protection again. Okay. Okay, who's got Aura? I think he has, like, okay, there we go. Yeah, this already might be huge trouble. Nothing we probably can't get out of, but... We've got really high spirit stats, so that's going for us. Try to pull it off. Oh boy. You can see he's got pretty good vitality. I need to get Doom Train off so that we can really lay into him. Or I could cast a Meltdown. That's probably a lot more prudent. That's fine. 
Where's my boy Meltdown? So, once Meltdown's up, if we need to panic, we've got Squall available. I'm just gonna try to stock as much Ultima as I can now. And he could kill us pretty easily. That's fantastic. I accidentally input with Squall and I really didn't mean to do that. Well, this will be an interesting dilemma. Yeah, I might have botched it now. Hang in there, Squall, and your knees. Ah, the clock was ticking that whole time. Alright, well, we can probably survive this. Remember how I was saying magic stats weren't that useful? They are good for healing. Okay, fire away, team. He's gonna act right after this. Uh, I think I'm done trying to farm good stuff out of him. When Squall's turn comes. There we go. If he survives this. And Lionheart. Okay, Blasting Zone. You get to see that one at least. Taking a chip out of his HP. Something went wrong with Cerberus on the very first turn. Basically, Quistus took damage based on her max HP. One moment. Cerberus didn't have enough to uh, survive it, that's all. Okay, Light Pillar, we have to change tactics for. Okay, bring her back. Light Pillar just kills you. I think Devend might guard against it. Okay, finish him. That might be enough. Man, no Lionhearts. Lionheart one-shots him, just so you know. Even if he's at full HP. This might have killed him anyway. Yeah, there we go. Well, we got a fair bit from him. Now we can just walk home. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well that didn't look that hard. Don't worry, there's a harder one. Eden's card. We did not get a hundred Ultima stones because I stole a three stars. Probably not worth it, but I did it. All right, the final GF. He's got some good stuff. This is the most important ability, I would say. Some weird junctioning stats, but speed, that's the important one. I think he might be able to learn luck junctioning. I'm not 100% sure. But yes, this is going to help us tremendously. And expend 3x1, which means you use one of your magic charges if triple has been cast. All right. 
Who gets the new guy? I guess you, Squall. And we completely uh, reset all the stuff we do with our junctioning now. Well, actually, it's not too bad. And we'll, we'll hook these up real nice. I feel like triple would be pretty good for evade. Maybe scan would be, that makes sense. Well, 54 stops, it'll have to do. No point in junctioning to his hit. Whoops, ability. Mug, encounter none, get me out of here. And HP bonus. Back to the gutter for you, Zell. And all the goods. Auto protect actually would have been a pretty good idea. I should have done that. Oh well. All right, everyone. We've got all the GFs. Now to get out of here and never come back. And now to get out of here. There we are. Oh, that fight went on longer than I thought it did. Actually, let's check one other thing. One benchmark of success. I guess would just be to see how many ultimates we were able to draw. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't counting. Give yourself one get Dave point. No, a hundred for every one you counted. 51. 50. 86. Dang! So that's a total of what? 187? And we started with 97, so that's pretty good. We doubled our Ultima count, give or take. I'll take, thank you very much. No more triple. So I guess if they turn blue, they never recharge. So I think that's the saddest thing I ever heard. Also note that we can get out of here pretty quickly now that all the fixed encounters are gone. Huh. I'm glad I didn't die on Ultima Weapon. It would have been awkward. Also, I'm glad the game didn't crash or anything like that. Hello, save point. And now the long wait for uh, Siren to get to level 100. Might as well check and see how close we got there. She was on 45, all right, 50. By the time we get all of our characters to 99 Luftballon, uh, that should suffice. And actually the cap is 100 in this game, which I really like. They, the convention of 99 being the cap really bugs me. It's like a holdover from when there was uh, maybe not room in the UI on like an NES for that extra digit, but I mean, uh, at, at 4K resolution, there's probably room for an extra one. It's not even a very fat number. Worst case scenario, you can always switch to base 16. So I hope you all enjoyed the deep sea research facility. I don't know how it is to watch, but it's full of anxiety and pain from my point of view. All right, we got that spell. Why did he only stock two? Pretty good magic stat at 120. Oh well. I'm not gonna let it bother me. Oh yeah, and we can climb up here. There we go. They gotta mark that stuff. And now... Onward to the next side quest, which, <laughs> you know what? Let's try getting some adamantine again. It's a good time for that, isn't it? The reason I'm saying that is, if we were to get one, Selfie would um, have her ultimate weapon completed. So let's try it one more time, going the long way. We're going to Longhorn Island, everybody.
I feel like this is the weakest you have an airship song. I don't really remember the one from Final Fantasy IX though, so I can't comment. It's not bad, but like Y Caliber pointed out, Highwind Takes to the Skies is pretty awesome, and he's right. Also, Final Fantasy VI. Setzer's theme for the blackjack is pretty darn good. All right. So let's patrol these beaches. These biatches. Pardon me, biatches. Get encounter none back on. Or back off. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And initiative. Because that goes pretty well with what we're trying to do here. Alright. I'm going to head desk if it's not an adamantoise. I knew it. I knew it. Alright, I'm a man of my word. Goodness, it finally happened. It finally happened. Oh no. Everybody. Well, the good news is we don't have to mug them, I guess. And I don't really have anything good. So I'm not gonna panic. This is probably for the best. Finally happened. Yeah, they're tiny in this one. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. One. Well, we got one. Um, given that there were two, and they were pr well, whatever. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Call a junk shop. Who wants a strange vision? Selfie does. Renault's got hers. Sharp spike. Hmm. Energy crystals, I know a trick for finding those. Moonstone, know a trick for finding those. Aside from needing one more piece of adamantine, we're on easy street. Wait. Yeah, and dragon skin. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that one out later. Back to trying to find adamantoises. They're here. You can, look, you can also do this, okay? Okay, card mod. Where are you? 10 adamantines, boom, just like that. But we're not gonna do that, because that's the coward of the way out. And you can totally get that card back on disc four by challenging the CC club, but whatever. All right, this one came pretty quickly, actually. We do not want Zell to attack. We are just gonna scan their levels, though. Oh, he's doing the thing. And I wanna take this opportunity to show you Sandstorm. A song I like by Darude. Can't have Squall be down. Turn that frown upside down. So, Doom Train puts a whole bunch of status ailments on. That's important. You know what? Have some Reflect. And you put Protect on yourself. Just until Doom Train arrives. I'm pretty sure Sandstorm did phys er, magical damage, but whatever. Get one more bit of Reflects first. All right, they're gonna be screwed once Doom Train hits. All right, we're going off the rails on a crazy train. Thank goodness safety is being followed. No one else is gonna get hit. I'm actually a train. He was actually on Thomas the Train Engine for a while there. Yeah, they're in trouble. So there's Vitality Zero there and a whole bunch of other status ailments. Uh, they do have a ton of HP though, so we still might have trouble. Don't attack with Zell. One of the few situations where you don't want to mug. 
Yeah, this is what Odin did for us. I should have limit break. Break it. I believe the term is limit brunked. And it's still ticking. Well, they're pretty high level anyway. I'll go after this one. Thank you very much. I was hoping you would have lion-hearted. All right, well, get your gun-powered Kamehameha out of your system. Also, the gun-powered Kamehameha is what they called me in high school. Twas my nickname. I do kind of like that attack. Nice and subtle. Alright, so we should get one or two. Alright, well, we only needed one. Alright, uh, we're pretty good for length here, ladies. So, in the next episode, let's just get Encounter None on before I forget. In the next episode, we'll go grab the last few items we need to, um, you know, get all the ultimate weapons. And the last bit should go pretty easily, I think. Knock on wood. Because nothing could possibly go wrong. No, because there's a trick, for example, for getting energy crystals. So that's going to really help out. Check it out next time.